Hi fam, welcome back to Dive Deeper with Yaya, where we live it and we tell it. I am your host, Ayana, and I am going to be taking you guys on this journey of life with me. And we are going to have some deep conversations that motivate, inspire, and inform. So let's see what we have in store for today. <laughs> Buckle your seatbelts and get ready because we are leaving Fayetteville and we are going to my home, the Nature Isle of the Caribbean, Dominica. And today I will be your trusted tour guide. Dominica is also known as YT Kubul, which means tall is her body. This name was given to us by our indigenous people, the Kalinagos. So we will start off our journey in the Kalinago territory at the Kalinago Barana Ote. When in Dominica, you must visit the Barana Ote. This is where both locals and foreigners come to connect with the Kalinago people and learn more about their culture. And this is Lorenzo Sanford, the youngest Kalinago chief in Dominica's history. Now we're heading to Fort Shirley. This fort is a reminder of our history of when the French and the English both fought for colonization of our island. If you're not feeling too history-ish, <laughs> we can go over to the beach, or we can walk through the forest, or we can walk over rivers, or jump into rivers. We can go whale watching, go to the hot water, or we can go chasing waterfalls. I mean, a lot of waterfalls. Or if you absolutely love hiking, I recommend you do the Waiti Kubui National Trail. It has 14 segments and it takes you through the whole of the island and you get to see all the sites that I've touched on today. This trail also brings us to the second largest Borden Lake in the world. And this is crazy to me because Dominica only covers an area of about 289 square miles. But now we're leaving the forest and we are going to a party. Follow me. The music that you are hearing is called Booyah music and this is my favorite genre of Dominican music. And the event we are witnessing is called the Creole in the Park. And this happens in the last full week of October. And this is one of our independent celebrations. Creole in the Park runs from Monday to Thursday and it occurs at the Botanical Gardens, which is in our capital, Roseau. And it is just culture surrounded by culture surrounded by culture. Our local artists are on display. Our cultural dances are on display. Our local bands, our Buya bands are on display. And it is just a great experience. And then you have the food. All of our local cuisine can and will be found in the park during that week. You are guaranteed to get Bude, which is black pudding. I will not explain what that is. You just have to try it. We have crab back, which is a crab's shell stuffed with crab meat and bread. And then you have our kalalu, which is greens that are blended. And some people use coconut milk, some do not. And we have our ground provision in there and we have smoked meat and crab most importantly some people do do kalu without crab but crab is an essential especially during our independence week our independence month our independence celebration kalu is also our national dish on the next day, which is the last Friday of October, we have Quail Day. On this day, all Dominicans wear their national wear. So this includes some sorts of madras. The men wear white shirts, black pants, and a red sash around their waists, while the women wear their jeep, 
or their warped yet. Although English is our official language, you may have noticed that a lot of the terms that I use are not English. This is because we do speak Creole in Dominica, which is a French-based patois. When the workday is done, we go home to rest for the beginning of three nights of pulsating rhythm. This is the biggest event in Dominica. This is the World Creole Music Festival, and you have international, regional, and local artists all putting on this big show. It starts in the evening and it goes until early morning, and this lasts from Friday to Sunday. And then we celebrate our independence from Britain officially on November 3rd. Another big event in Dominica is Carnival. Like independence, the Carnival season lasts a whole month. There are so many events to attend, from Calypso shows, to queen shows, to princess shows, and this all comes to an end with two days of street jump up. And once again, you can see Dominica's culture on full display. Civilians and tourists are having fun in the streets, jumping behind the live booyah bands, glitter and feathers covering their bodies, depiction of old slave masters, freedom, the true feeling of emancipation, a celebration of the freed slaves, our culture. Our journey has come to an end and you are officially a nature islander like myself. Thank you for journeying with your trusted tour guide Ayana and do come again.